to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment. James chapter 1 and verse 17. You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life is changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace Your life has changed You will never be the same You've touched His grace James, the Bible says every good gift and every perfect gift, look up please, God is speaking to us already. Every good gift, provided it is good and provided it is perfect. The first thing the Bible tells you is that it comes from above. And above is a relative statement so that you are not confused. It says it cometh down from the father that if at all you see anything good in the life of a man the bible says do not be confused as to how it came that it only there is only one location where good things come from it says it cometh from above from the father of light in whom there is no variableness when it has to do with good things it does not say it comes from god it says it comes from abba follow me this morning so there is something about the nature and the character of god that is responsible for the arrival of good things in the life of the saints good things in Luke chapter 11 please give it to us let's hurry up Luke chapter 11 the disciples came to Jesus let's start from verse 1 and Jesus who came as the expression of the image and the character of the father now theologically speaking Jesus did not just come to die for the world alone he came to correct our perception about God because until Jesus came, there were many ideas about God. Superstitious ideas. God was credited for several things, some of which he did not have a hand in. So Jesus came as a reference, as a standard. Are we together now? So that if you looked at his life, you would now edit your understanding of God. And the Bible says it came to pass while he was praying in a certain place. When he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Teach us to pray as John taught his disciples to. So it's a subject of prayer. He said unto them, When ye pray, Holy Ghost Christian Center, this must be the consciousness that governs your approach to prayer. Number one, our Father. Not just God our father step into prayer with the consciousness that the one you are dealing with is not only the creator of the ends of the earth is not only the ancient of days but there is a connection and that his name as far as your relationship is concerned is not called god he's called abba father there is something about the fatherhood of god that if and when the saints understand, we will step into unprecedented dimensions of possibilities. The word father is the word Abba. It comes from the Greek word Abba. Abba means source. Abba means sustainer. Abba means defender. Source. 
the psalmist said i will lift up my eyes onto the hills then he asked a question he said from whence cometh my help he says my help i don't know where yours comes from but my help cometh from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth the consciousness of the fatherhood of god is the first key to stepping into dimensions of the blessings the favor and the goodness of god the fatherhood of god read on luke 11 we're still there please go to verse 4 luke 11 verse 4 it says forgive us our sins as we forgive those indebted to us lead us not into temptation deliver us from evil continue he said unto them okay can we back up to maybe verse, verse 8 so that we just save time i say unto you though he will not rise and give him because he's his friend yet because of the importunity he will rise and give him as many uh-huh verse 9 i say unto you now he's speaking ask and it shall be given you seek and you shall find knock and it shall be open unto you for the law is in verse 10 that everyone that asketh receiveth whoever seeketh he will find and to him that knocketh the door shall be open verse 11 he says if a son now he's talking relationship now if a son shall ask bread from any of you that is a father if you are not a father that statement does not concern you but if it is true that you are a father will you give him a stone he said if he asks for fish will you give him a serpent verse 12 or if he asks for an egg will you give him a scorpion if ye then wow being evil keep that scripture there do you know what the lord is saying he's saying even though you are fallen even though you are wicked men your the the fall of man did not erode the consciousness of fatherhood that even in the depravity of your heart you still have the conscience and the compassion to respond positively to your children if you have been evil know how to give good gifts verse 13 to your children please leave verse 13 he said how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit i wish we had time would have worked on that that means the proof of fatherhood is not the presence of children the proof of fatherhood is the ability to give you are not a father just because you have children you are a father because of your aptness, your, your ability to release, to give. If you've been evil, know how to give good gifts. If you are evil, and even though you can kill, you can lie, you can do all sorts of things, yet you still return back to your homes and you make sure that your children are well fed. If you still have the quality of fatherhood, how much more? your heavenly father listen there is something about the fatherhood of god that if you do not know number one you will never receive and number two you will never excel that the father god is more willing to give than you are willing to receive the bible says it this way romans chapter 8 and verse 32 romans chapter 8 and verse 32 still an expression of god's willingness to give here's what it says romans 8 32 he that spared not his own son but delivered him up for us how shall he not with him also freely give us how many things someone shout all things all things that pertains unto life and godliness so i approach god with a consciousness that i am dealing with abba did you know the bible talks to us about the prodigal son that even though the son left and lived a riotous life and finished everything his money he was with the pigs eating when he got up to return back to the father he did not meet the father at home 
he met the father on the way that means even though that child was a lawless boy the father could not rest he was already on his way perhaps if that boy had delayed the father would still meet him there with the swine and say i came for you let me tell you what this means i have loved you with an everlasting love the bible says i think that should be jeremiah 31 and verse 3 god is not ashamed as a father to declare his vulnerability for man i have loved you with an everlasting love and i have drawn you with my loving kindness somebody say my father shout it again say my father the owner of the universe is my father it's a revelation the owner of the universe is my father the giver of life is my father the custodian of favor is my father the lifter of men is my father the opener of doors is my father he's not just the god the ancient of days that makes him too far but when you call him abba this is a relationship that means there is a dimension of his jealousy committed to my life Abba. if there are only two people who will be blessed i know i am one of them because of father father many of you have children here and it's amazing how that in your company or your place of work you are a ceo but your child does not you you can try and try and to make your child believe you are a blessed ceo and you find out that your child does not seem to have that revelation all that the child knows is that this is daddy you can be ceo to those who need a job you can be ceo to those who your corporation is serving but to that baby you are not a ceo you are abba and every time he comes to you he does not expect a protocol to stop him every time he comes to you he does not expect a form to be filled because he's not coming to ceo he's coming to abba someone shout again my father it is because you have been approaching god that's why you have not received the response of a father god i come to you nothing wrong with that but I teach you how to receive in this kingdom. My father. Abba. 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 My father. You are the lifter of men. Now your son has come to you. Father. Father. Father, the son you say has come to worship you. The son you've helped has come to worship you. You are the leader. You are the lifter, the one you've helped has come to worship you. Listen, the consciousness of the fatherhood of God will take away every fear i do not approach him wondering if he will hear me i do not even approach him conscious of the accuracy of what i am saying no there is something about his fatherhood i am conscious of number one my relationship with him number two his desire it is not only you who loves god and needs him believe me he needs you too even though he is all by himself let me show you how much he needs you he gave his son to redeem you to say come back did he have to do it did he lose his creativity could he not make another humanoid species that's the extent of his love 
Abba Father. He is my source. Number one, he is my sustainer. Number two, he is my defender. Because everything God gives you, there will be contention. So if all he is to you is a giver, you are still in trouble. He needs to be a defender. A defender of what he has given you. When God opens a door, make sure he's not just the opener of the door. He is the defender. Because the gates will ask you, who is this king of glory? Life will say, by what means did you rise? I do not see an uncle or an auntie. I do not see a background that should allow you to be at this level. And you tell them, well, I may be disadvantaged in the physical, but I found a name that God is called. I know you call him king. I know you call him El Shaddai. I know you call him the mighty one, but I choose to call him Abba, my father. Someone prophesy to yourself, my father, Abba, my provider, my protector, my defender, my source, source of what? My blessing, source of what? My joy, source of what? My lifting. There is no fear. Why? Because Abba defends me. There is no fear because his jealousy has connected him to me eternally. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Someone shake off fear this morning. I am a child of God. I'm no longer. now sit down i love adults but i absolutely love children i love children with all my heart when i arrived there was an adorable little girl holding a flower and this happens all the time when i see these children i don't care what they are saying you know they are trying to recite what they were taught and honestly that is not even my concern i just want to wait for them to finish so i can give them a big hug and say my god they teach me something they remind me about myself every time i see them i remember me and the way i feel it makes me know that god is waiting just waiting i know you are approaching me in prayer but son you go ahead i'm aware of your petitions but i want to show you how much of abba i am so when men say there is a casting down i don't know who is behind them i don't know who backs them but as for me Abba, carry that consciousness it is true that he is god but he says every good and every perfect gift if that is what you want it is not just god that will give you it will take a revelation of father This is the dimension of God that made the apostles, the scribes, and the Pharisees troubled. Because until then, nobody had approached God as Father. They approached Him as the fiery God, the God who could rain down thunder, and then Jesus came. And they expected that kind of distance to continue. And then... They studied the way he prayed and it made them afraid. How dare you approach our revered God this way? What drew you so close to him? You claim to be his son and Jesus said, I'm introducing something to you. He would break the bread and lift it up and say, Father, thank you. Go. I know what my father can do. When you carry the consciousness of father, you will walk around the street of this city not with pride but with absolute confidence absolute confidence if you see any door open you will not find out who was it open for you already know who it was open for we're talking my father here honestly this consciousness of the fatherhood of god has changed my life i expect favor every day I expect lifting every day. The earth is the Lord's. The Lord is my father. 
many of you move around the property of your loved ones and even if you are distant cousins you still partake of the pride is my uncle and you talk as if you bought it together and you can stand and argue and say i will i will manipulate my uncle to not respond to you so you know the implication of being around greatness how much more being begotten by the father for god so loved the world he gave his son not just so that i will be saved so that on legitimate grounds he can be father not just creator father are we blessed this morning so if you rise up against a son he will run to his father and say father there is an adversary and the father says all right go behind me and let me show this man how responsible i am this is not to bring any any emotions but we've had times where terrorists have kidnapped children and with all the wealth of their parents they could not sleep because a little girl a little boy and the man would say even if it is a million dollars please don't harm my son let him come back home and the terrorists will say can you give us five million dollars they say if it's for my son i can go that far please someone shout abba why does it look like you are fatherless why does it look like there is no defender in your life why does it look like you are struggling to make god aware that you are here there is something about your revelation the way we have to cajole him and say god are you aware i know there are over eight billion people just to remind you that i am still in lagos just to remind you that my rent is still an issue there is something about your revelation that is insulting the fatherhood of god the the consciousness of his fatherhood will give you rest how are the bills coming i know because i am not an orphan how is my destiny going to change i am not an orphan i may be disadvantaged physically but i know my father allow him come and you will see what he can do you have that mentality it will change your life every time lack and want and limitation seems to surround your life most times we start thinking ah who do i know in the government who do i know which my other uncle uncle i called you you didn't respond or ceo sir won't you give me the job it's wonderful but I'm teaching you something this morning. If you truly want to walk in a realm of unbelievable, unprecedented dimension of the supplies of the spirit, retreat from looking up to men. God will use men, but it does not come from men. It comes through men. It only comes from above. Every good gift and every perfect gift comes from above. This structure that we now celebrate did not come from men it came through men but it came from above so when you see a son adorned with honor and glory don't ask him where he got it from focus on the father that gave him are we together it's an insult to a father to see the child and say where did you buy these shoes young boy of course you should know he could not afford it when you dress your children it's not a reflection of their personal wealth it's a reflection of your responsibility as a father are you getting this revelation now i want to drum this in this first service as we pray if you see a little child come out of a very expensive car into an expensive house for instance wearing an expensive cloth and having people older than him treating him well you should know we are wise enough to know that that child could not have brought that possibility to himself immediately you would ask a question whose son are you because this has to be a display of the benevolence and the excellence of your father may you enter realms that will make men ask 
is it the same God I have with you and you say well he is God to you but I learned in this conference that there is a name he can be called my source my sustainer my defender that name is called father someone shout my father look at that issue of finances that mountain of bill before you don't shout my uncle don't shout my landlord don't shout my employer shout abba my father that is the one who is committed to defending your interest man can love you today and hate you tomorrow but there is one whose love is everlasting you may be a stranger in lagos but you are not a stranger to him abba guarded by the jealousy of god defended by his interest this is the mentality that has changed my life i walk around knowing that god loves me i walk around knowing that i have a father i truly have a father even though he resides in the heavens he's ever committed to my life so i sleep like a baby i wake up with joy and confidence knowing that the day i am entering the maker of it is my father and when my father makes a day he makes sure my interest is represented in that day otherwise it will not come to pass this is the day that the lord don't walk into a day with uncertainty you know who made it this is the meal that my mother made now you eat your mother's food with confidence you know she's an expert making this the maker of today is my father I know he kept favor for me somewhere in that today. I know he kept lifting for me somewhere in that today. I can never pass through today as though a stranger made it and helped me with that day. My father made the day and my interest is represented in that day. Are you blessed this morning? Every good gift. Give us that scripture again. James 1 17 every good gift holy ghost christian center the body of christ if it is good and if it is perfect stop looking for it where it cannot be found it only comes from above and the custodian of every good thing is abba not our father alone my father no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no wall you will kick down lie you will tear down coming after me that's my father there's no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me spoke a word you were saying you have been so so good hold on I expect the goodness of God every day and I will not be surprised when I see it I will only be grateful because I know my father is walking Jesus said my father walketh hitherto I walk I walk as he walks there are blessings prepared for me there are men who don't need to know me if they know my father they are still in trouble because he will make them do things they did not want to do because he is my father so it is not only the one who knows me that will bless me whoever is under the influence of my father's government has an obligation to see to it that his fatherhood speaks over my life if you understand this you can be in lagos and it will come from heaven through us to you it can come from heaven through the north to you from heaven through south africa to you don't tie yourself to a limited geography you are tying his hand 
just allow him use the distribution systems he is abba it is not did the bible not say strangers shall feed your flock be careful it is not only those who know you that can bless you if you peg your mind and say i have five people and lord i pray you use these five to lift me that's a mistake lord i know you are abba there are eight billion people on earth enough tools for you to use to lift me enough tools for you to use to raise me i may be in a place where no one knows me all i need is my abba if my father looks down on me with his favor then creation must hear me this is my beloved son it was not god who was speaking it was father this is my beloved son hear ye him when god makes a verdict over your life as abba i i assure you creation will hear you resources will come from the left and the right men will stand up in honor of the verdict of abba when the prodigal son came home the brothers the servants were looking at him this lawless boy is back home and the moment the father spoke contentions ended it is my house he is my son adorn him with the ring of royalty prepare a party for him the fatherhood of god as one of the kingdom secrets are located for the manifestation of good things i know that good things will happen in my life this is not just a pentecostal confession it is based on an understanding that i am not an orphan oh listen to me i bring you words of comfort for some of you your parents your the breadwinners in your life may have gone and you are left alone and you are wondering who do i know ah don't insult god we are talking abba here the creator of the ends of the earth we're going to pray the fatherhood of god when you pray pray thirst our father my provider my source the source of my strength the source of the anointing the source of the influence when you know where it came you will not be afraid of losing it because where it came from has an endless supply every man gives according to the riches of his glory I can only give you as far as I have such as I have but when you come to the fountain that never runs dry your life becomes a mysterious wonder first to you and then to everyone who looks at you please believe what I'm telling you this is not just some motivation on a Sunday morning it is true so Abba directs this person and says make sure my daughter smiles before the end of today make sure my son has an open door sign abba ah. and that letter spreads by the wind of the spirit all across the earth and phone calls are coming blessings are coming and you're wondering hello sir um do i know you no don't ask that question he's a messenger Abba sent him. He has to be faithful. The Spirit of God comes in honor to the fatherhood of God and leads you to places, coincidences. All of a sudden, you collide with a destiny helper. You were not supposed to come here. Why are you here? And the man says, I don't even know. Abba is at work from heaven. Every good gift and every perfect gift your boss makes up his mind and say except it is not monday you are leaving this job don't give yourself heart attack for nothing ask hezekiah when the prophet came and said hey set your house in order you will not leave he said prophet i respect you you go and he turned ah. why should i fear when i have you help me surrounded by love your everlasting love why 
the revelation they don't know what you mean to me what you mean one more time they don't know they don't know they don't know what you mean to me what you mean to me listen scientology and many other religions of the world as i attempt to wrap up they believe there is a life force they believe there is some cosmic energy out there that is responsible for regulating times and seasons other religions believe in the the reality of a deity or some superhuman abilities out there to the unknown god they know that that deity whatever they are or whatever it is I can't get close to him but at least I know that this earth could not have been formed just by intelligence it is only the faith life that gives definition to who that deity is that that deity is not some cosmic power hanging around there his name is El Shaddai the God of the universe when you are teaching creation you can use words like ancient of days El Shaddai are we together now but when you come to the saints, when you come to Joshua Selman, don't tell me ancient of days. When you come to me, don't tell me some far God somewhere who brought Israel out of the Red Sea. I appreciate you, but we're deeper than that. Call him my Abba. Don't just call him a life force who gives power from some cosmic realm like superstition. We're talking of my father. Don't come and help describe my father like a stranger to me. Imagine that I come to meet Pastor Emos Fenwa and I'm trying to describe him to his daughter or his son. And I say, do you know one man? He's in Lagos. That man is such an anointed prophet of God. His wife is such a powerful woman. And the child is now watching and saying, who are you trying to describe? I say, in fact, the man on a Sunday, he wore a beautiful attire. And that man, when he stands on stage, he prophesies. He, he leads a ministry called Holy Ghost Christian Center. And the child is saying, save yourself all that. In one sentence, that man is my father. When you are describing him to a stranger, who dishonors him and does not know the potential he carries you can go through that description but you are talking to one who has tasted and seen call him Abba when you are outside do not call him he's not their father he's their creator but when you come to me no he's more than a creator he's more than one who just gives me a job he's more than one who just anoints he is Abba rise up on your feet someone begin to prophesy we have just a minute and we're done for this first service in the name of jesus i declare the consciousness of the fatherhood of god transforms my life i am a receiver because my father is a giver is someone praying i am a receiver in the name of jesus my father is a giver abba is a giver abba is a lifter i am lifted because my father is a lifter I advance because my father can move men forward I obtain good things because my father is a giver of good things he is not just God he is not just El Shaddai he is not just the God of the Bible he is my father prophesy Abba father Abba father the giver of favor the giver of grace the multiplier of influence dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray! Pray! Pray!
pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline 